I spent 500 days in Rim World, World Zombieland? Can I survive in a brutal zombie apocalypse stranded on a deserted island and try to escape the planet while searching for the zombie cure? I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Welcome to Rim World. So we're here on a tropical island and we're going to have zombies coming in. In fact, there's one zombie right here. Yep, it is uh, burrowing up. And right there, so we need to really prepare. Well then, we have limited resources here on the island, but we will start off by chopping down some wood. So I think we will base right here, because we have some rich soil. We can just wall these two choke points off. Since we have only one colonist, there's not really going to be a lot of zombies, but it is going to get very bad soon. So for now, we're just going to wall off this section right here, and of course, this big one right here. I'm going to forbid those for now, because I need a shack first. Silver is halfway done with the house. I don't really have to worry about food because we have banana plants and blood orange trees on this island. Now this one zombie here will infect us if it bites us, so we have to avoid it. The good thing is that you can craft a serum or a cure for the zombie virus if you kill enough zombies. We will have to sleep here for now without a roof because there's too many trees in the jungle. And we're also getting heat stroke. On day number two, Silver will work on the roofing of the house. I will have to get a table down because eating without a table is a war crime. We can also construct a zombie shocker here. So this thing will make every zombie in a room unconscious for a short while. So we do have rim atomics and rim fillers so we can get some oil, maybe burn the zombies and rim atomics we can, well, destroy them. So we are playing on 500% threat scale in the rim world zombie land setting. So the threat forecast here, well, it indicates hell. So it's currently going down but we need to prepare defenses because as you can see in two days it will go back up it also gets really dark in the night but we will stay up cozy in here okay the shack and its interior have been constructed the silver will now work on the walls you're going to have to be made out of wood for now but we're going to double layer them with stone walls Perfect, so with that done, we will now start researching, maybe get some power up. During the gloomy nights of the tropical jungle, Silver will start to mine some steel. Now on the tropical island, there is not a lot of resources on the surface, so we will have to resort to deep drilling. Now I did land in a sandstone slash marble island here, because sandstone builds the fastest out of all the stone blocks, and that will be crucial when repairing up the base. Anyways, got the stone cutters tables to make some sandstone blocks. And we are trapped on this island, so we cannot go out to caravan for help. Well, that is unless we can get a boat or a flying vehicle. So we have a siege zombie here that will destroy our walls. I'm not sure how to deal with these things without a ranged weapon. We do have free crafting, so I need to craft a bow, I suppose. We have a raid from groups of Edakin. Hmm, group, it's singular, there's only one Edakin. But I suppose raids will be very easy to take care of, the zombies can just kill him. Anyways, we need to take this thing out. Free shooting experience though, which is absolutely magnificent. Does this thing have infinite armor or something? So you saw right there, that zombie just one shot our wall. Oh, the Edakin here got mauled by a zombie. Ah, poor 14 year old furry. And now we need to spend the night fighting this thing. And now it's going to break into our house. Yup, it is, um, hmm, this is not good. Visitors. Ooh, free food. Maybe they can die and give us their pemmican. Ah, uh, please help us. This is insane. Yes, come and eat. And yes, kill the zombie. Wow, well, you're not going to kill the zombie. Okay, we need to sleep. This is absurd. And now a herder. Can you kill this thing? Chunks of spacecraft from Randy. Hmm. Sad wander on Silver. Uh, she'll be fine as long as she avoids the zombie. The zombie is finally dead. What was that? Four days just killing this thing? Well then, we will have to rebuild and hope that never happens again. It looks like we will have to get defenses first, so smithing up to machining maybe. Well then, finally peace upon the lands. There are now 25 zombies on the map, but the threat level is going down. Well then, so as I said, I want to get electricity and construct this wall. After that battle, I think we went from level 4 shooting to level 6. 
16. Need some stone chunks. I'm going to have to move our stone cutter's table out here for now. Let's kill off these zombies. They do take quite a lot to kill, though. Another raid from Wasters, which will die. Oh my, this is a great genie, though. Please do not get bit by a zombie. You can barely see it, but a zombie child is there. But a good thing with genies is that they're wimps, so they will almost always get down before killed. Just shoot him. There we go. Okay, Norman is secured, so he will be great. Now I just need to get more stone chunks. Rare thrombos. What happens if I make the Manhunter? Won't they, like, attack the zombies? Okay, let's see this. Thrombo revenge. Yup. Okay, we managed to kill one thrombo. Another raid from wasters again. And this time an actual waster, which are quite bad in the early game. We don't have Yayo, so she will have to die to this zomboid. I mean, wasters are like zombies already, so nothing will change for you, Dusk. Oh, what is this? Surplus Raider. The military is here. These people have a bunch of good stuff to trade, but we don't have any money. More chunks of... Oh no, a new raid. One Itakin, I believe. Okay, got a nice prisoner room for Norman, so stop complaining. So we've finally reduced the resistance of Norman, so let's convert him. Then he is ours. We are soon done with the walls here as well. The deserter quest, but this guy is a hussar, and we do not have Goju, so I'm going to have to deny this quest another raid from wasters who will die norman new recruit welcome aboard kagorath so what you will do is mostly research and craft maybe make some clothing with this from buffer for our settlement name it will be the zombie souls Compacted meteorite from Randy. So we're going to start off by researching batteries and then go up to machining. Maybe get some solar generators and wind power. We will now grow some crops for the future and just keep on researching. Ooh, batteries already. Get some solar panels. Another raid from groups of imps. Please just kill the zombies. Yup. Oh, this woman right here was actually decked out, but she is going to become zombified. Finally got some power. Now we can replace everything with batteries, get some lamps. A refugee quest for seven days. Martin. Let's see your pyromaniac in a wooden base, but double passion intellectual. I guess you can just research. And another surplus trader, but there are a bunch of zombies coming in. New lovers, Silver and Kagorath. Well, then don't have to worry about your mood. 116 zombies already. This will be great. Solar panels, finally. We have another one of these zombies which we have to kill. Oh, they're shooting their own muffalos. Oh, look at all that loot. Oh, no, that's so much wealth. Armor skin glands. Oh, this is so bad. Too much wealth, but the zombies can handle all of the raids. Maybe I can sell some of these things back to them. This muffalo is also dead, which has a gun. Let's see here. Bunch of advanced components. Oh no, we have an engineering zombie that can open doors. The zombies are just mauling the wildlife. Everything is dying to these zomboids. Well, at least we are safe inside of our walls. Oh well, the threat level is soon at zero. So then we can collect all the loot from the caravan back then. And a mechanoid cluster. An EMI dynamo. How will I take care of this? Maybe the zombies can do something. Zombie spitter attack. What? the hell is this thing a monster that spits zombies to attack your base from the air what the hell a mortar filled with zomboids okay it's dead need to be very careful here These things are so damn tough, though. Okay, so what's going on on the outside world? There are special zombies here. Oh, what the hell? Look how much loot there is just lying around the map. The problem is, it has increased our wealth to extreme heights. Mechanoids have woken up. Great, zombies, take care of this. There's a zombie here that spits out black liquid. Anyways, got machining. Well, we already have weapons now, so maybe we go up to microelectronics. Get to trading with the comms console. So, what is going on at this mech cluster? 
Okay, so the centipede is getting demolished. The mech cluster will be quite easy to take care of. There will only be one point in five days where the zombie count goes to zero. You know what? I'm just going to deal with this straight away. We need to jump this turret. Okay, Martin, take care of that. Hopefully you don't explode to death. Okay, that is not good at all. Run the hell away. Yup, uh, Martin, you might be dead. Ah, well, that was quite easy. Please do not explode, I want that power cell. Mech cluster has been defeated. Well then, bring back this unstable power cell back to the base. Now a defoliator. Refugees leaving. Let's see what will happen to Martin. There's no leaving this place, I can tell you that. Goodbye, Martin. Ah! Yup, he is getting mauled. So the zombies scratch Martin in the torso and exposing the flesh underneath. Why are these zombies so violent? Take it easy. We're soon done with microelectronics. We're going to start mining at a machining table up. Well then, Silver will become the leader of this colony. A couple of the ciphers are just dying to the zombies, so all the mech clusters will be free. Microelectronics. Now this will be our only contact with the outside world since, well, every single caravan will die to the zomboids. We're going to make a comms console and the orbital trade beacon. We're at 0% threat here, so it's time to go out and loot. Only a few ciphers here. We can take care of that. Finally, some rain to clean up this hellhole of a map. It's the random ass boom whale. I took out a few zombies here because they were a part of this tanker zombie once again. I hate these. So since we can't really get recruits, I'm going to focus on getting kids. So Silver and Kagarath will try for a baby. And we will have fertility procedures here and get some growth vats. So get some OP kids to run the colony. And the outside world is deadly as always. Just a random child zombie here. Hopefully our kids don't become zombies. Our first harvest of corn coming in. But I might have to start planting rice if I want growth vats. We also have a small research room here. So we're going to place down some steel high-tech research benches and i will also make a small freezer so let me plan that out so we've researched fertility procedures and a bunch of other stuff so we got advanced lights and sterile materials there's also a heat wave here which means it's 46 celsius i've made a cooler here we got the freezer coming up soon 57 celsius this is the extreme desert okay this should fix it all just close ourselves in here and the yeah, it's going down to 21. Okay, our first ovum. We will stack these up and get a lot of kids. Raid from Neanderthals. This time, 11 of them to take out the zombies. There are people visiting and Kendra here is Silver's daughter. Uh, she will die though. Valkyrie, you better help Silver's daughter. Neanderthals are fleeing. Wow, look at this Neanderthal though. He is insane. But, well, he is probably going to become a zombie. Oh no, Kendra, she's going to die. And everybody will turn into a zombie, which is also great. But Silver's daughter died, so that is minus 20 mood for 30 days. We will floor in the colony because having dirt lying around is not great. Ah, oh, Kendra, how could you become a zombie? Zombie spitter attack. Ah, uh, not this again. It's just standing there. Will you start shooting? I oh, know a zombie here is going to destroy our door. Okay, another caravan. And there it is. Our first high-tech research bench. We're just going to go for growth vats. 
the zombie spitter is just still standing there. Is it bugged? A huge forest fire here. Hopefully Randy will send us rain. I mean, surely he won't let the island burn down. Well, base is nice and cleaned up. Not much we can do here because we're getting no comms console trades. We have no components, so we cannot really progress. So we're going to have to mine in the mountain here. Maybe get some of these components. New quest, a nine-year-old child to join. I mean, we need pawns, so doesn't matter if it's a child for now. I just hope she can uh, run back safely. A Miss Andrus child. <laughs> she already hates men. Run, Forrest. Run. Just keep on running. She is faster than the Zomboids, though, so I think she will make it safely. Oh, now we have to deal with them. Oh, this is not good at all. No, the whole horde is here. How are these zombies so fast? Oh no, just more and more piling up. Another zombie bruise. That was quite a situation. Wow, they're all dead. Or wait, they're uh, already dead. They're dead dead. Welcome aboard, Mepic. And I will have to convert her, so let's do this. Ah, uh, not one of these zombies again. We are piling up some zombie extract though. I think it was a hundred we need. Another zombie knocking on the door. Silver pregnant, finally. You know what? I think it's best if I just wall these exits off because zombies can only destroy doors. Only special kind of zombies can destroy walls as well. So if we need to go out, then we just deconstruct the walls. Multi analyzer. Well, then we need to mine for components. Need more resources. I will probably have to go into fabrication and deep drilling, get some steel, make components so we don't have to buy and mine them because as of right now, it's not looking too good. Finally, some components with the growth that will insert embryo a manhunter pack chasing pants so mepic now 17 sheep so far so good we're just researching up to ground penetrating scanner as i said need more components but not much to do i would also like to get a multi analyzer but we don't have enough gold or plasteel so this is why we need to get some deep drills or caravans also going to construct a nutrient paste dispenser Finally, a combat supplier. Well then, this is what I'm trading. Getting some components and medicine. Got ground penetrating scanner. Well then, can we afford this? Yep, we can afford this. So let's just have Kagoref scan. Our first scan of uranium. I mean, the ultimate endgame goal would be to wall off the entire island here by the beach. Make a huge compound. But of course, we need more colonists. So we've already scanned plasteel, uranium and steel up north. So I think firstly we will expand up here, just seal all of this off and then the northwestern side. Another manhunter pack. I mean, with these zombies, no threats are really bad. Only drop pod raids would be horrible. But other than that, it's quite chill. They'll have the zombie spitter here. It's probably bugged out. Raid from the mech hive. Okay, so just a bunch of cyphers, lancers, and a pikeman. They can clean up the map for me. Oh, we scanned steel right in our base. How are the mechs doing here? Uh, they're all dead. Zombies for just 2 OP. Finally converted mepic. You will be released. She will mostly be doing cooking and mining. Royal Tribute Collector. How will this go? Free weapons? What the hell is that? A bison wool Hello Kitty backpack. Now uh, this guy is an absolute giga chad with that backpack. Well then Mepic get to cooking. A nine year old child will surely cause no food poisoning. Oh, they're going to clear out this area. Nice. This is an opportunity to take back our land. They're not attacking them. No food poisoning from that meal. Mepic will become a master chef contestant. Mepic watching Silver cut down the trees. What we're going to do is plan out a huge wooden wall at first and then double layer it with sandstone. Now the threat level is only at 18, so no new zombies will spawn for a while. As you can see, the max is 200, and right now there's 159. So hopefully we will be able to construct this in time. 
Healthy that birth. Well then, it's a she, so welcome aboard, Kulbaka. And you will go back into the growth fat until you're three years old. We have a visitor here to trade. This is what I'm trading. Growth moment for Mepic. We can choose a trait for her, so great memory. Oh no. Uh, the visitor got absolutely demolished. Anyways, we have successfully constructed the expansion of the perimeter. Anyways, we have enough sandstone for the outer expansion, so we don't have to worry about fires. And yeah, I mean, we're going to construct more wind turbines and solar panels out here. Oh, not blight. New quest here for Stanley. So Stanley here as a reward is too great to give up on. Too smart, which means 75% global learning factor and double passion in mining and shooting, which we need. So I mean, raids are not an issue and we get six champions that will be placed under our control. Oh, they can work for us. Wonderful. And just like that, the sandstone expansion has been completed. Oh no, Nicholas got a zombie bite and is going to become a zombie soon. Well then, I have a plan for you. You're going to be enclosed in here forever. An ambrosia sprout in the middle of our fields. Zombie bite, 143 hours to become a zombie. Okay, I guess you're fine. I mean, this quest will be completed soon. They will come in 1.4 days. A new caravan, a hunter caravan. Bulk goods trader. So this is what I'm trading with the bulk goods trader from the comms console. They had all the golden plasteel that I needed for the multi-analyzer. Raid from groups of imps. They're going to... <laughs> they have chainsaws. Uh, this time they're actually getting through. Oh, fire. What is that chainsaw sound? They're all fleeing. This guy here, Psychopath Gourmand. Oh no, he is uh, going to become a zombie, of course. Well, zombie organs, we can get that. So every single human that dies has a zombie infection in their brain. You need to make sure to extract their skulls. So here is the raid from the quest. Let's see what happens to Gun here. He will be mauled. <laughs> Anyways, we're getting the organs out of this guy. Another raid from Garbage Wasters. There were two. I mean, the zombies are just mauling them. And the multi-analyzer has been constructed. The zombies are just too vicious. Look at this guy. There were three raids. Okay, so yeah, there are three groups. This will be hell. Oh no, one group is coming for here. Minigun, I want that. They're all fleeing, or just one group. But now these two groups are together, which is not ideal. We will be grabbing that minigun. Uh, what just happened? Our empire people have just given up. And we failed the quest. Why? Ah, oh, this is not great at all. Okay, let's go back inside before all of these corpses become zombified. Silver is just so slow. Ah, oh, somebody has to carry her. A new raid from imps now. What? Yeah, this is just great. This is absolute hell. I'm not even sure what's going on anymore. And now all of these people have turned into zombies. Yeah, we have lost this land here now because of these zombies. And the gap right there cannot go there anymore. Well, the imps are going to take everything out, I hope. Although they're not doing so good. We also have a bunch of thrombos. We have a combat supplier now. We have some visitors. I don't even know what's going on. The zombies and the visitors are living in harmony. Kill them all. Why can they not attack Trev? Seems to be a few bugs. 
Imps have given up and are leaving. The map is just a mess. The zombies are feasting upon the imps. I'm going to send out Mepic on a mission here. The mission impossible to get two thrombos here that have died. I mean, she can easily do this. A single child hauling a 240 kilogram thrombo. Oh no, one zombie here. Close that up. Kubaka became a child. We will have to make some child clothing for you. So we're going to research fabrication now. Yes, we can make components. We only have 14. Silver in labor. There it is, a baby boy. Welcome aboard, Andreas. You will of course go into the growth vat because you're a useless child. Your sister can haul you into the growth vat. We've also extracted one more ovum out of silver because we need more kids. I won't insert it for now because we do not have a lot of food. Where the hell are these zombies going? I mean, I guess that's great for us. More thrombos here we can acquire. But this is the perfect opportunity to patch this up. Although silver is currently downed. The zombies are behaving very strangely. Okay, we have successfully done it. And the zombie spitter is still here. Ooh, finally the threat level reached zero, so all the zombies died. We are now free. Oh my, no lag, no nothing. Got a garland pod sprout. I think this playthrough I'm actually going to plant it. All the loot out here can be hauled in safely. Well then, we're expanding upon storage. We're soon done with fabrication. We also need more food for the babies. We are slightly starving. There we go fabrication. I have a new quest here for a three-year-old child named Sam. I mean, he will probably die, no? Let's accept it. Okay, Sam, you are in the middle. Oh, not too bad of a spawn location. Barely fast enough. There we go, Sam. A three-year-old can outrun zombies. We will, of course, convert him first. Welcome aboard, Ben. Ambrosia coming in and all the food. But the thing that Sam was fleeing from was a climate adjuster. And apparently, we can just swim in the water here will take 3.8 days but i believe it's reducing the temperature by 10 celsius so let's just leave it this tropical island will become a temperate forest too deep infestation this is uh not too good That was not the smoothest fight at all. I did not expect that. Did take quite some damage on silver. Okay, looks like we're okay. Looks like we're not drilling for a while until we get a meliest. A transpod crash in the middle of our compound. But he isn't too great. I mean, combat is the only thing he's good at. Maybe he can try to organ harvest. But silver is still injured. Right as we were rescuing him, he joins. You know what? Maybe he can become a shooting specialist or something. Could become good in mining and animals. Well then toxic, welcome aboard. Now he does have cataract in both of his eyes, so not a great shooter for now. Once we get those bionic eyes on him, he will be great. Andreas became a child. We're going to go into beer brewing here. Yes, get some of that. So we're going to grow hops and smoke leaf. Smoking and drinking is what this colony is going to be about. Maybe we should get our own cacao tree here. I mean, we have all the time in the world. Let's get some chocolate going. A psychic ship. Okay, this will be quite easy to take care of as you saw previously. And the action is on. Here we go, get some cacao trees. Healthy vat birth. Another baby boy, so liquid lion. Another zombie spitter attack. Uh, this one also seems to be bugged. That is very strange. Oh no, another tanker zombie. That took forever, my goodness. Raid from the mech hive. This will be very interesting. I hope they will die before they get to us. There are two centurions on the map though, so let's see how they fare. Oh, I didn't even notice. All the raids died. Uh, yep, dead centurions everywhere. 
finally converted Ben. Let's release him. So we got a new quest here for Sanguphages, vampires. And the funny thing is that vampires are undead. So let's see how the zombies fare against them. Crash shuttle. Hopefully they don't get mauled instantly. Oh, she is actually really good though. They're just watching their master die. The whole raid is getting destroyed though. Oh, maybe I can capture four eyes. But she has been bitten about 500 times. I hear she's dead. Okay, four eyes. You are going to become a zombie. And the outside world is just filled with zombies. We have Ballard here trying to kill one. Yeah, that is just free loot. The guy will be mauled. Anyways, we soon have beer coming in. Need to get some wort. And then we can start brewing beer so our kids can drink that. Raid from the mech hive. Yeah, that is very big, but there is a 100% threat level now. So a bunch of zombies here that can kill them. More ambrosia from Randy in our compound. Okay, mechs are attacking, but they will all die, as I said. Got an exotic goods trader. Let's see. They had a bunch of good stuff, like a telescope and component. Let's go. Of course, it had to land in here. Why? Mechanoids are slowly getting chipped away at. There is no raid that can stop the horde. Yeah, I do not have to worry about this. And now a slave ship. Let's see if we can get some good slaves or recruits. So I got Soich here. He is very good. Double passion in art and mining. So I think I will change him out for Toxic, unfortunately. I mean, Toxic here can only become a shooting specialist. And even then, he has cataract in both of his eyes. Of course, the drop pods are in this order. What is this? I have to deconstruct the walls every time I make a purchase, huh? Okay, Soich. I forgot to set you into the home zone gets back here we will have to convert and recruit you liquid lion became a child well then out of the growth vat so i think that's good enough for now we have five kids and three adults plus scotch so eight colonists is enough for now also got the fabrication bench coming up finally some components oh no 51 celsius i got this climate adjuster a while ago and i thought it was reducing the temperature but apparently it's increasing it so I'm going to have to go out and deal with that, but it will be nearly impossible. 3.8 days. And a toxic fallout from Randy. Ah, this is worst case. I need to harvest our plants. Get all the smoke leaf and the corn. This might be the perfect opportunity to make some gas masks. So gas mask has an 80% toxic environment resistance. And we do have enough chem fuel for it. So let's make some. Let's make some wort for the beer. And get some fermenting barrels. Mepic cooking up some wort. Oh my. Make zombie serum 10 up to 100%. Pure serum from dead zombies that guaranteed cure zombie infections during operation. So I'm guessing the 50% one only has a 50% success rate. Yeah. But what I wanted to do here was to get some smoke leaf joints. Just have some child labor to complete that task. Royal Tribute Collector. Finally, help us. So we got a fermenting barrel. So we will have Ben hold some wort in there. And we got beer coming in. Mepic, roll up some smoke leaves. Get our kids high on this. Ooh, the threat level will soon reach zero. And here we go. Oh, all the zombies will die. We are free once more, but there is a toxic fallout, so there's not much we can do. Oh, well, we have one day to do what we need to do. I'm going to have everyone take beer and smoke leaf if mood is below, let's say, 30%. I believe that's the threshold for minor break. Oh, no, it's 35%. If you're sad, kids, don't talk it out. Just take some drugs. We actually need to take care of this climate adjuster, so I'm going to caravan out there. I think Kagoraf will have to go. You can borrow Silver's gas mask and get out. Goodbye, Dad. I hope we will see you soon. Also going to have a Christmas tree party here upon the toxic grounds. Another albino zombie taken care of. They just appear out of nowhere. Mepic has leveled up to level 6 cooking. So now she can start making fine meals. Ravenous crabs. A group of hungry island scouring crabs have just arrived. Yeah, they will die to the zomboids. 
caravan has arrived at climate adjuster so we're in the middle of the ocean and there's a few mechanoids here oh no zombies are appearing here i did not think of that okay get in here quick and here it is plus 10 temperature yeah the tanker zombie here will destroy the cypher and get the hell out and goodbye also got another slave ship see if we can get even better recruits unfortunately nobody that i'm interested in so you're selling off some ambrosia oh no we have another tanker zombie here which we need to kill i think it's bugged or something Finally dead. Hate those things. Ah, the worst of the toxic fallout has settled. The island looks so dead when there's no plants around. That toxic fallout has killed the island. Okay, Kagaraf, you're finally back. Please just run. Okay, he is safe. Luckily didn't spawn on top of a zombie. Going to do a few rituals so we can reform the ideology. Well then, let's reform the ideology, choosing human primacy. But then this is our newly reformed ideology. And we will have Kagoraf become the production specialist. Silver is so busy raising these kids. She is such a great mother. Another surplus trader. Finally, a new caravan. Well then, trading away a bunch of weapons and clothing to them. So much loot to sell back. Oh my, look at that loot. Got the whole colony here to grab all of this and some recon helmets. Mepic became an adult. So these are the skills and traits I'm going for her. She is decked out with tough shooting and mining passion. And then you will go back into the growth vat, Mepic. So one problem we are facing is that nobody can mine now. So Kagoraf is the production specialist, so he is off mining. We will have to wait for the kid to grow up before we make real progress yeah, it's unfortunate there's no real way to get recruits easily here we need to get sword here soon he is decked out still haven't converted him Another albino zombie taken care of. New quest here for Oksana, a nine-year-old, and there will be a huge raid. Let's accept it and see. Okay, slow poke mining passion. And the raid chasing her? Yup, I think they will all die. Time to convert you. Imps have given up and are leaving. Yup. Paratonic Oksana. Why are you so sad? And now a growth moment for her, Oksana. Let's go for kind. Silver pregnant. Uh, do we really need this? Okay, you know what? Let's have this one kid and that's it. I think we're also going to research for drill for oil. Let's get some chem fuel refining. Maybe burn the zomboids. And our wealth is at 77,000. But as you saw, all the raids just die instantly to the zomboids. Transpod crash? Stone. Mepic's brother. Yeah, I mean, he is quite good, but will we be able to reach him? Come on, Stone. Oh, he is dead. He's, he's just dead. And Mepic will get a minus 14 mood debuff. New recruit, Soich. Welcome aboard, J-Man. We will have you do mining and art. And now we can finally make someone the moral guide. Converted Oksana. Welcome aboard, Melarki. We will release you. We will have the kids do some deep drilling, get more steel. That's all we need. Drill for oil. We will go straight into chem fuel refining and get some oil up. Mepic is finally 18 years old. Well then, you will do cooking and mining. Chem fuel refining and a mech cluster. Ooh, foggy rain, but it is so far away. Well, I guess we will just have rain for a while then. I cannot risk going out to take care of that. Ooh, or maybe in, yeah, a few days when the threat level reaches zero. Bulk goods trader. They will also die. One percent, and here we go. Let's see them all die. Or they're already dead, but dead, dead. Everybody is free. Now I want you to loot. And a bulk goods trader to trade with. And I will have Kagoraf here take care of the mech cluster. It will take 6.2 days. That is so far. Yeah, no, I think I will go into vehicles now. So let's get some basic vehicles, get some boats and such. Wonderful. This will increase our wealth, but more resources for us. Got two bulk goods traders. You always want to trade with the best social pawn here. So Andreas has 15 social at 5 years old. But he has a better deal than silver. So 22%. So this is what I'm trading with the first bulk goods trader. And with the second one I'm buying some medicine and selling off some clothing. 
Another zombie spitter attack uh, spawned right next to his uh, brother, but they're bugged. New quest, a damaged shuttle. I think I'll accept this for the knee spike. I mean, the raid should just die instantly. Oh, threat level is zero. I did not expect this. Silver is the best mother, smoking and drinking while pregnant. Kagorath is finally here at the weather controller. Oh, I've never seen a mech cluster like this with the turret inside of the building. Maybe it's because we're on the ocean. Well then, we have defeated it. Let's destroy this. And finally, no more rain for a while. Growth moment for Ben. Going to go for mining and tough. Tough is the best trait in the game, so. Growth moment for Kulbaka now. So I think she will become an artist. Just go into medical passion, art passion, and shooting passion with the two smart traits. Beauty deep infestation and a solar flare. Okay, that went a bit bad, but we're fine. Another zombie spitter attack. Okay, so all it did was spit out a few zombies, and now it's leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. And clear out all of these. There we go, nice and safe. Beer production is going good. We have a hundred beer, almost a hundred smoke leaf. So our drug colony is coming along, and we also got chocolate coming in soon. Drop pod with skull spikes from Randy. Is he warning me? Well, Kagorath will soon be home, so maybe it's a sign that he might spawn on top of zombies. So zombies here are quite interesting. They can survive 209 Celsius and minus 82 Celsius. Their life expectancy is at 9,999. Okay, Kagorath, welcome back. We want to avoid these zombies that have been turned from human. Well, these are all zombies that have been turned to human, but these ones in particular are very fast. Okay, Kagoref, you are safe. What the hell? Um, I think a suicide bomber zombie just exploded. Yeah, so there are zombies with the suicide vests, and once they touch any wall, they will explode. Oh no, these things are getting smarter. Okay, we will have to repair that another day. Silver in labor. Finally the new kid, but she's in a mental break. Uh, I guess the baby will just have to pop out on the floor. Oh, she's actually going to give birth standing up. Okay, she is now downed. There we go. Looks like a baby girl. Welcome aboard, sacred. You will of course go back into the growth vat. Well, we have a caravan here, but this suicide bomber zombie here, that is what exploded our walls. Well then, got a resource console and look how much oil we have. We will become so powerful with this. We can get chem fuel power and everything. Well then, focus on this oil industry, become Dubai. I'm also going to construct more lights in the base and in the compound. I hate seeing all of this darkness. Oh, we got some chocolate coming in from the chocolate trees. Growth moment for Andreas. Well, then could become a good meleeist. So melee passion and passion in plants plus hard worker. We will have him do planting. Another zombie spitter attack. What the hell flying zombies. <laughs> I think the zombie spitter left. I think that's all of them. Exotic goods trader. Let's see. Well then, buying a mega screen television. Don't need a nutrient paste dispenser now that Mepic is a sufficient cook. Sacred became a child. Welcome back out. So we have three drill arms from a caravan earlier. So we will install that on our miners. Have our miners mine even faster. You better not fail this, Silver. Random albino zombie here. Okay, what the hell is it doing? Come on, Andreas, with the chainsaw. 
There we go, Andreas. This is Chainsaw Man. Well, then the oil well here is at 93%. And then we can start drilling. So we have 3,400 steel and 52 components to work with. And an infestation. Okay, I think I know how to deal with this. And now we, yeah, just lure the insects into the zombies. Yup, and we should be safe. Wonderful insects. I mean, it looks like it's working. Free meat. We also have a manhunter pack here with caribou, so they're working together. Another zombie spitter attack. This one is also bugged. Anyways, we've also installed lights in this section of the base. So no more darkness. Got basic vehicles. I would much prefer to get a mosquito, a helicopter, or maybe get some tanks to deal with the zombies. Smoke leaf addiction. It was bound to happen, Jamin. But all the lamps in this section have been constructed, finally. Rare Frumbo and Frumbo Revenge. Can we get the corpses, maybe? And here we go. We have a large chem fuel power plant, so all the oil is up. This thing outputs 16,000 watts. I could have two of these and then replace everything. Goodbye, wind turbines and solar panels. Oh no, a tanker zombie. How did I not notice this? I can deconstruct the batteries as well. This is so great. We have become Dubai. This place will rise to power. All one and two corpses. Growth moment for Liquid Lion. I think I'm going to go for these things for him. This is actually so cozy though. Our own little compound in the middle of nowhere. Aerial vehicles. Let's see here. Get a mosquito, a helicopter. There's also a bunch of vehicles here. I would like to get a tank to destroy the zombies. But I would like to invest more into defense. So get gun turrets outside of the base. Okay, gun turrets, no more research. We're simply going to construct all of these things. What is this? A zombie thumper. A stamper to attract zombies. Uses fuel and does damage to the environment per hit. What, so we can get a kill box with turrets and you shred the zomboids? Let's test out this steel sentry gun. So this thing is from Remunation Security. And this thing is automated defense. Yeah, and zombies. Zombies cannot destroy anything other than doors, I believe, so this is so good. We will take back this island. So then, let's expand up here, and then we will take back the northwestern part. We will need a lot of blocks for this though, so work on that. I mean, this turret is just carrying us. Now, we will need a lot of steel to upkeep this, because the turrets, they consume so much of it. So, Sacred will have to go back and forth refueling the thing. But as long as we have child slaves to do the drilling for us, we should be good. Oh no, we have another tanker zombie here. You can barely see anything, but these zombies need to be killed. Okay, we have better accuracy in the light, so get back here. Okay, get some zombie extract here. Brett has been dealt with. Melarki became an adult. Well then, these are the traits and skills I'm going for her. Raid from the mech hive. 24 ciphers. Oh no, the ciphers are making their way over here. Okay, stay indoors. That turret is just dead. Oh no, it somehow took out all of these ciphers. Ciphers are all dead. We're safe. I'm going to research outdoors doors just to improve the movement efficiency of the colony. Our base is getting cozier and cozier. I'm going to expand the base more here, get our ideology room. And yeah, just continue expanding. Defoliator ship. Let's see here, a Diabolus. And just like that, the wall has been constructed. So now we will move over to this part. Mech cluster is still holding off strong. I guess the zombies cannot get near. Another zombie spear attack. And that was about all of them. Oh my, there's a random tanker zombie in here. Not my TV. 
Three desperate refugees. Why not? Okay, they did not spawn on top of zombies. Come on, get inside. A dirt mole mining and... Ooh, cooking could be good. They're all alright. Defoliator is increasing in size. I might have to mortar this. Do we have any reinforced barrels? I don't think so. Well then, this part has also been constructed. So now we have occupied almost half the island. We just need this part. I think if we get a zombie thumper to try to attract every single zombie, will that work? betrayal the refugees have turned against us uh butcher them all up oh no sammy with the sniper okay they're fleeing we only took one shot to the torso anyway zombie thumper is on we can toggle the intensity so the max setting lures in a radius like this uh, i thought i could get the whole map okay well that will not work do some organ harvesting towards the betrayers Another too deep infestation. Okay, took quite some damage. Growth moment for Ben. Let's see here. You know what? He's going to become a miner and a constructor. Well, he's already a miner, but now he will also do construction. Now growth moment for Kobaka. Fast learner again and D skills for her. I was going to close off this section here just so I wouldn't get infestations and now we do get one. Okay, well, we have the same strat. Maybe they can attack the mechs. Oh, the Diablos is friendly firing. But we still need a mortar to take care of this. Okay, we've filled out the entire cave here. So every single mountain roof has been covered, so no more infestations. So I need to deal with this mech cluster now. It has destroyed the southern part of the map. So I think what I'm going to do is get silver here and get this four rifle here. This thing has a range of 52, so maybe I can kite the mechs into zomboids. This is working. Take out all the pikemen. Maybe we can take out the ship defoliator from here. Wow, I could have just picked it off from here this whole time. Okay, it's getting dark and our accuracy will be reduced. So let's finish this off tomorrow. Come on, one more shot. There we go, we're finally free. Well, then just get inside. Let's see, one zombie solo this Diabolus. Oh, never mind. Oh, it seems bugged. <laughs> Well then, I would like to claim this area right here. It has a lot of plasteel that we need. Exotic goods trader and growth moment for Andreas. Well then, these are the skills and traits that I'm going for him. Oh, so much free loot. Okay, we need to haul all of this nasty loot back in. Pick all of this up. Halfway done with this wall here, we have almost taken care of the whole island. So much black sticky liquid everywhere. Soli is approaching with a child in tow. They say they escaped from a slave caravan. Why not? Let's be kind to them. We will totally not get some kid organs. Let's see here. Useless child and an okay mother. Oh no, Soli is too slow. Yeah, she got bit once, so she will become a zomboid. Ooh, solely got no infection risk. So there is a chance you do not get infected. Another tanker zombie that needs to be killed. Oh no, another tanker zombie. Well, well, the infrastructure has successfully been constructed. I don't think we need to construct more. I wanted to construct this mosquito here, but I'm missing some resources. I have no gold here, which is an issue, and I haven't gotten a trader to buy from. The only gold I see is over here. So I'm going to make it a bit harder for us now. Instead of the random movement style here, you can read, I will change it to smart. This will eventually bring them to us, so they will start stacking up around the 
walls and such. But I think we are ready. We have all the infrastructure and all the turrets necessary. And then we can research up to marine armor. Maybe get advanced fabrication. Get some better weapons. The miners are finally mining some plasteel. Now the only thing I need is gold. Now a volcanic winter from Randy. I mean it's much better than a heat wave. So let's go. Oh no the zombies are ganging up on the walls. What the hell is happening? They're all being brought to us which is yeah not ideal we will need more gun turrets so what's going on here they're all just piling what the hell dangerous situation there are zombies being pushed over your walls prevent zombies from accumulating to dense groups yeah this is very bad and the same thing here okay we need to reload these turrets There are so many of them. Need more backup. The whole base is so dark during a solar flare. Group of colonists passing by, Branch. And she is the grandmother and mother of all of these people. So if she dies, we will get a major moody buff. Oh no, Branch. She is dead. Another dangerous situation. Ah, the turrets can handle that. I always need to be prepared for these things. Too deep infestation? No problem, we have turrets. And now malaria on three colonists. So I'm going to research napalm here. We can get napalm bombs and all of this to really kill the zomboids. Refugees leaving. Well, you already know what we're doing with you. Mousy, you will die anyway, so let's get your organs. All the organs out of the kid refugee. And now Soli will take over. So you can organ harvest and capture the refugees. But if you try to strip them, then you will anger the refugee clan. Yeah, the Outlander refugee group does not like having people naked. I also have a combat supplier, so this is what I'm training. To solve the problem with the drop pods landing in the freezer, all I had to do was construct some barricades. Then drop pod raids can also not land in there, so they will just spawn out here. Growth mode moment for liquid lion well then these are the skills and traits i'm going for him got napalm well then i want to try out some vehicles now so combat vehicles get a bulldog maybe combat vehicles let's see so then a bulldog this seems very expensive oh my goodness a dangerous situation they just popped out of the walls and mauled silver literally instantly what what just happened Yeah, that is, um... Highly unfortunate. She is just gone. Well then, uh, we have learned from that. My daughter's sacred die minus 20 for 30 days. Just drink some beer, eat some chocolate, and smoke some smoke leaf joints. Okay, Ben, you're doing the same thing. My sister's sacred died minus 14 moody buff. It happened again. Okay, we need more kids. Let's get some more. Pretty good gene here for J-Man and Mepek. Let's get another kid. I'm also going to double layer our walls now after that. We don't want that to happen again. Exotic goods trader. You know what? Let's get some animals. Get some yaks. Well then, making a huge trade here. Finally got some gold so I can construct the helicopter. Ooh, a royal tribute collector. Let's see how this goes. Uh-oh, bunch of fire. Got a bulk goods trader, some trading docks, getting some sheep, more medicine, more gold. We're going to build a small animal empire. Raid from wasters. The threat level is just about to reach zero. Okay, 37 humans. Where are they going? Oh my, all the way through the mountain. Ah, uh, what exactly can we do against this? You know what? I have a plan. We're going to haul the unstable power cell. This will 100% work. Oh, 
Okay, that did not work. Okay, we have to wait this one out. There's no way we can kill that many people. They're just eating our food. Okay, they're just relaxing. I mean... Yeah, they've made a giant hole throughout the base. Now they're going to fight the zombies. Ah, oh, this is so funny. What are they doing now? They're just throwing grenades everywhere. Ah, oh, the whole base has been destroyed. It's unfortunate that the threat level had to reach zero. Wasters have given up and are leaving. Okay, we need to patch this thing up now. Okay, we are safe, but that was hell and they will all die to the zombies i mean what was their goal they didn't even steal anything they just destroyed some stuff and that's about it they didn't even destroy my multi-analyzer someone turned into a zombie oh no oh no oh no run malarkey oh kid oh no yeah, I forgot about that corpse right there. That was very sloppy. Okay, tend to malarkey. Uh, how do we deal with this? Luckily, it's in the right shoulder, so all we need to do is amputate it. Replace that with a bionic arm. Speaking of which, let's get some bionics. What is going on here? Why is there fire? Okay, this is just great. The zombies are vicious. Way too vicious. So you can see here, the zombies are trying to force their way in also on this side what the defenses are holding tightly but one wrong move and this colony could crumble i need to take care of this the wooden walls are constantly burning So Malarkey got no infection risk. That is a delight to hear that I don't have to waste my zombie serums. But I might need some rain, Randy. All the zombies have been killed down. Silver is so depressed. The whole colony is just sad, even though we have so many drugs to help us. But defenses are back up. Catatonic silver. It was bound to happen. Well then, we have enough zombie serum for one cure. It's time to cure the zombie apocalypse one by one. So then, make zombie serum 100%. Here we go, Kagoraf. And there we go, the 100% cure. If someone gets infected, they will be resurrected. The zombies here have been burning for forever. And there's the rain trying to extinguish them, but they are just so persistent. What the hell? Another tanker zombie that has broken through. Oh no, there are too many, way too many, and well, yeah, looks like we have lost this part of land for some time. Burn all of the zomboids. This smoker zombie here is ruining everything, no line of sight, we're going to lose everything. I need some rain, Randy. This is too much. More zombies through the northern side are breaking through. Uh-oh, our base. Take out that damn tanker zombie. There are just more and more pouring in. Come on, patch up the wall. There we go. And the rain has finally arrived, but the damage has been dealt. Got an exotic goods trader with the tech print for cataphract armor, so why not? Oh no, we have a suicide bomber zombie. If that thing makes contact with the walls, we will have another assault to take care of. Let's just hold a few rituals to improve the mood. What the hell? Another suicide bomber has just opened up the base. Okay, just kill them all. Uh, okay huge bunch of zombies yeah how do i deal with this open up the base oh no silver of course zombie bite pretty much everything had to die for this Patch up the base, come on.
no infection risk again. Wow. Okay, we are finally done. A lot of serums, but was it worth it? Run while J-Man. Yeah, everything is just going wrong. Well, there's nowhere for him to go, so uh, goodbye. So we have a new quest here for Pugsley. He is really good here. Tough, acidic, and yeah, all of these skills. So we need to take care of something. Oh, of course, you have to spawn outside of the walls. And healthy vat birth. A male human. Welcome aboard, ghost matter. There's no way to get J-Man. We need to tame him, but we have no taming skill. One once we get Pug's lead and he can try to tame it. We are slowly falling apart. We need to do something. All these zombies up top here keep on breaking in here. Well, so far so good. Taking care of the baby. Want to put him back into the growth vat, but he is very starved. And the base is a mess. Need someone to clean it up. So J-Man is a wild man, but he's still walking around the base, eating our food and smoking. He's just a leech. So the only animals we have remaining are a bunch of ducks here. Bunch of ducklings. Uh, so cute though. So all the zombies have accumulated on the northeastern and northern part of the base. So it's essentially a safe down here. Well, since J-Man became a wild man, we need a new moral guide. So Malarkey, you will be it. Andreas is such a giga chad, taking care of a younger baby. Okay, the walls have been double layered everywhere now. These zombies are acting very, very differently. What are they doing? I mean, the leader of the Zombies seem to be up to no good. Wow. Now I have some napalm if needed. Raid from Neanderthals. Okay, they can just take out the zomboids. A Neanderthal wielding a katana. Yeah, the Neanderthals are just going to die. Okay, Neanderthals have given up and are leaving, but they did set fire to our walls. But there is some rain now from Randy. Oh no, we have another suicide bomber zombie. But we have double layered our walls, so shouldn't be a problem. Let's see here, how will this go? Yup. That is uh, exactly what can happen. Just yeah, shredded off our walls. But as you can see, as long as you double layer the walls, nothing can happen. A new zombie spitter attack. It has been quite some time. Okay, that should be about all of them. The last one is in here. Deep drill infestation taken care of. Now we did lose a duck here, but as long as we have a male alive, we should be fine. A mechanoid cluster, an EMI dynamo. Hmm, well, luckily I did buy some reinforced barrels a while ago. Yeah, we have two of those, so let's start bombing. What is even going on? <laughs> Ben became an adult. Well then, he is decked out now. Tough, fast learner, quick sleeper, and these skills. He will go back into the growth vat until he's 18 years old. An adult is only 13 years old in Rim World. And a toxic fallout. So we have a toxic fallout and a volcanic winter. Um, this is actually horrible. All I need to do is smorder the EMI dynamo and the mechs will die to the zomboids. The ducks are smart, hiding under the roof so they don't get toxic build. Up. And Kubaka became an adult. Well, she is actually cooked. Look how good she is. Great memory, too smart, fast learner, and all of these skills. So now she has double passion in all the most important skills. It will also go back into the growth vat next to Ben. Or actually, we cannot afford it. We barely have any food. Oh no, we won't have a lot of food with this toxic fallout. Okay, Silver, start bombing. I'm just going to have the docks live in the freezer for now, yes, so they don't die from the toxic fallout. A surplus trader to help us. Oh, they're going to take out the spec cluster. Speaking of which, we're only two shots away. Ooh, there we go. Now the turrets can just continue to kill all the zomboids in this area. You're really not going to finish it off. You're so close. Even more loot from the traders. Armor skin glands. My goodness. 3,000 free silver. But more zombies are going to take over this area. I know what. This is worth it. Need to kill all of these zomboids. Oh, 
What is that? Marine armor. Get all the marine armor and get inside. Okay, got all the loot. Wonderful. So the quest here that we accepted 15 days ago with Fina. And we got prosthetics. Time to research bionic replacements and send it off. Uh, where is our quest reward? Uh, I don't get my quest reward. I believe I accepted a colonist, no? Uh, that is very strange. A tanker zombie versus a bunch of crabs. Who will win? You know what I'm going to do? Instead of making one zombie serum 100% cure one, I'm going to make 10 of these 10% ones. If it's all chance-based, then it's a gamble-like, and I like to gamble. Another goddamn tanker zombie. Yeah, I'm never going to stop hating those things. So we got a bunch of ducks just hatching and the first thing they go for is beer. Ah, uh, that is, yeah, that is, ah, uh, this is rim world. Everyone loves beer. The zombies are acting very strangely. So ever since I double layered my walls, they've gone back to their random pathfinding. I guess there's nowhere for them to, yeah, get over the walls. But I do have it set to smart movement style here. So what are they up to? Oh no, we have a huge oil spill here now andreas became an adult well then these are the skills and traits that i'm going for him Darkling 2 has developed a condition chemical damage in its brain oh my oh no another tanker zombie oh the toxic fallout is over that was very quick but now the whole island is dead once again Raid from Wasters. Okay, just one group, but as I said, zombies will always take care of raids. Uh, there is 0% threat level, so the zombies are all dead. Uh, I did not expect this. Now a zombie spitter attack at the same time. Oh, this one is bugged as well. Oh no, they're inside. Wasters are fleeing. What the hell is going on on this map? Yeah, we're not holding off too well here. We're about to lose this southern section here. I should have built this with stone in the beginning, but whatever. Bionic replacements. Let's go for advanced fabrication. Okay, the task now is to rebuild the walls. Then we should be fine again. The game is so much faster when there's no zombies the threat level is zero but it will go back up we don't even have doors anymore to the outside world we've just closed ourselves off ghost matter became a child the final one two tanker zombies in one spot need to take care of this all dead and now we have to patch this up another suicide bomber here yes destroyed everything of course but we can quickly rebuild the problem is that with each one of their attacks we're closing ourselves in even further advanced fabrication there it is well let's just make some advanced components or we already have 14 the one thing that we were missing is a car transmission which you can only get with advanced fabrication and that is the last part for this mosquito and the tank here we go, a mosquito. We will name it Savior, because if all goes wrong, then we have a backup that we can escape with. So we can finally fly into the mainland if all goes wrong. But yeah, with that thing done, we can go do quests and such. Wonderful. But you can see everything here. The engine, fuel intake, and all of this. So I think I'm going to research up to precision rifling. There are a lot of weapons with remuneration weapons here. But I think I'll just go on and make some assault rifles. What is this? we got our tank up well then a bulldog wow liquid lion became an adult wow all of our kids have really grown up well except for ghost matter well then this is what i'm going for him yeah the reason i want them in the grow fat is that when they're 13 and not 18 they will have a reduced global work speed we have too many ducklings here so we will have auto slaughter but so this is how i'm going to set it up five male adults and 15 female adults so if it exceeds that then they will get slaughtered. 
The plague on 14 docks. That's funny. So one thing I wanted to do with this garland tree is connect it. So Andreas here is a good plant this. So let's do this. I never go for the garland pod sprout thing, but it's quite useful here. So now we can choose dryad kettle. I think I'll go for carriers. They can haul. And there we go. A dryad cocoon. So we can straight up make the equivalent of doomsday launchers at the machining table. 600 damage. And this thing only costs a component and 150 steel to make so for the tank here our bulldog i'm going to make an exit through the tunnel here so we can try to test this thing out on the zomboids a mechanoid cluster another one of these and there's no actual threat yeah let's test out the tank on this thing let's load up the tank here maybe with silver and then we need a gunner so get kagorath the couple and start up the engine everybody needs to get out i'm going to run over the docks oh i forgot to make a garage door over here as well and now a psychic ship oh my goodness okay that will be very difficult but the tank will destroy them Okay, tanker, you're going to go through here and you're going to destroy this wall. A zombie spitter attack. Ah, uh, that thing should die to the mix. I won't kill the zombie spitter. What are you doing? Okay, we need to take care of this. Why are there so many? Okay, should all be good. There are just so many zombies. Oh, the zombie spitter attack is way harder than the previous ones, but it is done. Okay, we are fine, I think. So we're going to try to take out this defoliator or psychic ship with the tank now. That's, <laughs> that Lancer is just dead. Oh, that was a great shot. Open that up and then go for here. There we go. We have successfully taken it out. Okay, we are out of here. Let the zombies take care of the rest. Our tank here is slightly damaged. And close the door behind. Okay, we need to get one more of these. They are so much fun to use. The whole map is in chaos. I mean, this is just a war zone. Uh, I guess the whole world is a war zone, but the vehicles will save us. I have one more bulldog in production. So with these two, we will take back the world. Diabolus is just dead here. But two people can repair a vehicle at once. Hmm. It is taking quite some time to get this back to full condition. You can see its armor sharp and blunt and heat as well. Uh oh, two tanker zombies need to kill. Let's see how long it takes to kill these things. I mean, the tanker zombies are just so OP. Too much health, to be honest. All the power to take out these things. A siege from pigs. Okay, uh, we can just tank this. The turrets here are dealing damage as well, so this shouldn't be an issue. They cannot build in the water here, so they might have to go inland. Okay, that did not go so well because the explosion doesn't expand in the water. Oh, we got a carrier dryad here. So yeah, just an automatic hauler like the lifter. I think the siege here is just going to die. Mm. 
well then took out the mech cluster here and the threat level is currently at zero so we have some peace for a few seconds but the whole map is a graveyard still haven't researched we've just been distracted with crafting and there we go another bulldog this one will be named bullcat so now we have two tanks in case of a raid or something so we're safe we don't have to worry about anything New lovers, Ben and Malarkey. Interesting. Ben courted Malarkey by describing her as a bright sun. That would make me fall in love. A mech cluster here with a defoliator. Why not? The zombies can take care of it. And I want to test our tanks. Take it for the gold. So they're going to land over here. All hell aboard. Yup, this is lovely. But we need to get out of here now. We're taking quite some damage. I like the pathing, try to avoid each other, I like that. Okay, this is the most fun ever, just taking the tanks and killing off everything. Precision rifling, get some weapons, I think we're going to go for Starflight Basics. Okay, that's enough damage for now. The defoliator will initiate in 10 days. We have a long time to take it out. I could have just mortared it, but as you can see, it's more fun with the tanks. You know what I'm going to try to do? Get a javelin here that I have constructed. It deals 600 damage. Target it right here. And let's see. Oh my. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Kagaraf has created a Ace 52 masterwork. So I was looking around at which gun was the best, and this one seems to be the best gun. Okay, I think I will take this on tomorrow. Just mortar and tank this thing. Another zombie spitter attack. That zombie has spawned on top of our dock and killed it. So I think I'm just going to construct one more vehicle here, a Tango, instead of a huge explosive shot, it's like an autocan turret. Oh my goodness, what a shot! Okay, that was epic. Mepic the epic. Oh no, a cypher. Okay, the zombie is killing the cypher. Oh no, a tanker zombie here to kill everything. Okay, this will totally be our last vehicle, a Tango. So this thing has higher armor and HP than the Bulldog, so is it better? An infestation. This is the perfect time to test out the tanks. But the insect should attack the... yeah, the zombies. This thing seems to be working wonderfully though. The vehicles are overpowering them. Another mech cluster. Climate adjuster with minus 10. That's not too shabby. And a raid from Imps. Yeah, this mech cluster is just done. Mech cluster has been defeated. Well, with these things we can expand the base down here now. Oh, well, our people are starving, so let's go home. And the imps here, uh, they're going to go to the mechs. Yep, imps are fleeing. Oh, these zombies here might kill everything. So I'm going to start taking back this area. Just constructed this wall here, but I just need to seal all of this off. Yeah, all the mechs here were destroyed by these zombies. But the ones with the name tags under are way overpowered. Oh, zero threat level. I can take this out now. And a perfect opportunity to expand upon the base.
Okay, this mech cluster has also been defeated. Well, the map is such a mess, but we can take over this area. Okay, we got the entire base here down. So we have taken over the island, I believe. Well, I just need to capture this area here, but this is wonderful. Another tanker zombie. It's going to destroy the Exostrider. Oh wait, I have a M134 minigun here. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, ducks. <laughs> the ducks are getting shredded. Oh my goodness, this is mollage. There we go. That was quite interesting. Okay, we're safe. Well done, this whole section here has been completed. We have double layered the walls, we got another garden pod sprout, so planted the tree. And yeah, just relaxing here, we're soon done with Starflight Basics. Ben told Malarkey that he wants to spend his life with her. Malarkey rejected the proposal. It was too much for the relationship to continue and the two have now broken up. Ben tried to flirt with Malarkey by cheerfully making fun of her family. Malarkey ignored the advance. Malarkey tried to woo Ben by describing him as a shining river. Ben was attracted and is now Malarkey's lover. So essentially they broke up and then they went back together one second later. So I think the problem with the zombies is when there's no door to target, they will just wander around aimlessly. Because when we used to have doors, then they would stack up against the walls. So I think we're doing the right thing. While the base is nice and calm, there's not much happening on the outside world. One thing I'm going to do now is try out our savior the helicopter so we have three ancient complexes i want to check out and i also want to check out the mainland see if i can get there so we will do that tomorrow morning let's launch it to the ancient complex perfect and we're just going to fly all over the zombies goodbye world so we've arrived here, but we seem to be bugged inside of this thing. Well then open it up and yeah, take care of this. Starfly basics. Well then get all the ship stuff. Oh no, bunch of zombies and more zombies. Okay, I think we're out of here. If there are zombies here, then this might be too risky. Oh no, we got bit. I needed to remove the roof. Why? Why did we spawn inside of here? Okay, I want to actually discover the mainland here, so let's go. Here we are. So, oh my, the first time seeing a proper map. The mainland will also have zombie stone, but nonetheless, it was nice to see. Let's go back home. Yeah, this is pretty damn cool, but there are some bugs. I need to see if Ben will be alright. Ben also got no infection risk. What? Ah, oh, so it's 50-50 that a zombie bite is infectious. I thought we were getting lucky, and we are but 50% is not too bad. You better be careful there. Yep, insta-dead. Okay, that was nice. Another mech cluster with a smoke spewer. Mechs versus zomboids. It's not going to go so well. Nice shots, Kagoref. We're done. A zombie spitter attack. Okay, we can take this out. But the mech cluster has been defeated. Raid from Max. Okay, just a bunch of centipedes. They're dead. What are the centipedes doing? Yes, following this albino zombie around. So I'm going to make the game a bit more difficult here. Instead of a 50% chance that we get infected by a bite, it's going to be a 100%. So we will see. I think I would like to expand down here, get the final section of the island. So let's go. Just going to deck out the tank here and expand. Another surplus trader with free loot. 
Deep Drill infestation will be destroyed. We've got a transport crash here with a refugee, and he is very good. Could become an artist and maybe clean up the base and such. Would also like to get all of this loot from the surplus trader. So when the threat level reaches zero in half a day or so, we can go out. Hopefully he survives until then. Zero threat level and Roin has managed to survive, so let's get him. Welcome aboard, Iceman, an impid named Iceman. So Iceman has a 36-day paralyptic abasia, but you can cure this with 10 glitches. Well, medicine, so let's do that. Ah, looks like the operation worked, Iceman. Welcome. Exotic goods trader. Can we get the final tech print for cataphract armor? Well, they didn't have cataphract armor, but circadian influence our people can sleep less because sleep is useless. Why waste a third of your life? Okay, we've constructed this wall here, finally. As always, all the lights have been placed down. So look at the island now. We have successfully taken it over. Growth moment for ghost matter. Could become a good craftsman. This is what I'm going for him. We've also decided to renovate our house here, so we got some paved tiles, they're better than concrete. Another zombie spitter attack. Okay, I need to prepare. They are everywhere. Okay, this should be over. Raid from Neanderthals. I can leave them to the zombies, right? It was bound to happen. Another infestation. Okay, they are uh, Icemen. Okay, well, they're almostly dead. 10 to everyone, a lot of damage taken, but that makes us tougher. A defoliator ship. Ah, just a bunch of ciphers. So there was a new update for the Biomes Island mod, and it has messed up the pathfinding of the zombies here. They're stuck to shallow water. I don't think they can walk over the deep ocean water now. And we also have a breacher raid here, which we have to deal with. Where the hell are they going? Oh, they're going after the caravan. What are the breachers doing? They went from the east side here all the way up to the north. A bunch of zombies here to help us. This seems to be working. Okay, they're all dead, finally. Some of us are very injured. Left leg shot off, that's great to hear. Let's get some bionics, but patch up the base. Ooh, rare thrombos when there's just no zombies. Perfect opportunity to get some free meat and liver. So much loot from the zombies. So there was a new update to Biomes Island and they had a new pathfinding mod to be dependent on it. So it looks like they cannot spawn on deep water anymore, which is strange, but whatever. So since this part here and this part here is connected to the mainland with shallow water, there will only be zombies going through here. So let's see how this will play out. But yeah, there was a surplus trader here and look at all that loot. Okay, so the zombies have gathered up here quite weirdly. But but we need to take out this defoliator, so let's do that. And the foliator is dead. New lovers, Andreas and Mepic. So Andreas tried to attract Mepic by comparing her to a dazzling shrub. So now we have researched everything for the ship, so we're just going to construct it. Okay, I think I'm going to do it down here. Should be good enough. Now I do need a persona core, so I need to request it from Rain, the Civil Outlander Union. But so the closest one is all the way out here. I will just have silver bordes with some gold and 
silver that we can give them. Okay, helicopter has arrived, so let's gift them. So gift mode, we will just offer them some stuff. A hundred gold and four thousand silver will give us sixty-eight goodwill. Okay, we're just close enough to become allies, so why not? And now we're allied with them, so let's launch back home. Yeah, this thing is super convenient. You can get anywhere with it. Now we will request the location of a Persona core. And it is on an island here, so let's go. Now this is quite a nice map to live in. And there are some turrets here. Okay, Silver, you can solo this. Oh my goodness, what? Zombies in here? That was a very close one. Anyways, pick up this Persona core and we're done. Oh, converted Iceman and we can reform the ideology. I think the clear choice here is transhumanist. We can get the sleep accelerator, neural supercharge and all of this. So this is our new ideology. And we will research biosculpting, neural supercharger and all of this. The ship is coming along nicely. Good to see. I'm going to add a triple layer here. So plasteel walls. Raid from the mech hive. Oh my. I mean, they should just die to the zomboids. I mean, look here, they are spawned on top of them. Even a giant raid like this will get destroyed because of the zomboids. As long as they keep on spawning in, there's no way to stop them. Yeah, I mean, the war queen here is also struggling. What a graveyard. All the mechs have died. Also got an exotic goods trader with some pretty good stuff. So getting neural computation. I still need that last piece of cataphract armor. This ship has almost been constructed at day 328. So that is quite early. A lot of other things we can do. Sang, you face quest here. Maybe we can get a vampire. Yeah. Well then, we will take this for the Xenogerm implantation. I hope they will land inside of the walls. So he is just going to walk here. Uh, well, the good thing is that the zombies are just clumped up here, so maybe he will make it. We do have to defend him, though. Uh, where are you going? You're going to die. <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's just uh, get him. We will try to arrest him. Yep, you're coming with us. An unwavering prisoner, so he has to die. But the good thing is you can harvest every single organ out of Sangiphages. As long as their brain doesn't get destroyed, they will not die. Now, I do want someone in the colony to become a meleeist. He has to do melee combat. Okay, I think Ben here, he has tough and he will get the robust trait, so he will be OP. Absorb Xenogerm. Oh, he must be downed. Okay, you're going to get absolutely violated. Strip him him and harvest his organs and ben has become a vampire i think we can name you ben tan welcome aboard anyways the sleep accelerators and the neural superchargers are up a neural supercharge here gives you 25 global learning factor which is insane but i also think i want to expand the base a bit more i want to make this area here indoors the ship has successfully been constructed so everything is up we could start this up if we wanted to but yeah for now let's get cataphract armor as soon as possible we need to research all of this time to start making bionics for everyone replace the arms and legs oh no a breakup ben 10 and malarkey well then we have researched a lot here i think one thing i would like to do is get rheumatomics and get a nuclear bomb up so yeah, yes, nuke some factions. It would be quite interesting. We would need a lot of uranium. The bionics are being installed. Praise the Omnisaya bunch of friendlies to help us against the zombies ah uh, this is very weird because there is no raid they're just going to attack the zombies you're going to dig out to escape you're going to destroy my walls okay i opened the garage door here so they can escape mech cluster with a sun blocker let's get the helicopter so i am here at the island but where's the sun blocker i literally do not see it oh it's up here this is quite interesting oh my okay this is very interesting <laughs> oh no the fire is spreading get the hell back ben Oh my goodness, groups of Irakin above us. Ah, this is very unexpected. The first drop pod raid.
Okay, so far so good. They've destroyed my TV, but oh well. Okay, they're all fleeing. I should have gotten fire foam poppers, but I think we can handle this. Okay, everything seems to be fine. So these RPG-7 are not single use and they deal 180 damage. So this thing can just kill everything. Oh my goodness. I forgot about the zombies. Okay, luckily we are just in time. Oh no, Kagorov. Come on, save him. Okay, they're eating the corpse, not Kagorov. Uh, we need to, yeah, take care of all of the bodies. Okay, extract their skulls. Never mind. Come on, save Kagorov. Okay, he is safe. All the zombies. And the last body should be here. And that should be about all of them. I completely forgot. Well then, we have survived that somehow. The first wave of zombies there could have infected us. We do have a 100% bite infection now, so no messing about. And the plague on four people from Randy. Yeah, he wants to beat me while I'm down. So far, so good. Almost rebuilt. Breacher raid. Okay, the zombies are stuck on the outskirts here. Okay, this time they are attacking us properly. Oh no, ghost matter. Okay, we are fine. Silver lost the finger, Kolbaka lost an eye, and Ghost Matter lost his right arm, and we lost our tank. Well, that can happen, but at least we won the raid. Okay, we need to patch up this giant wall. More friendlies again. <laughs> I guess having friendlies is free resources. Yeah, there's nothing to kill. All the zomboids are stuck. Hmm, I wish they hadn't updated the biomes island mod because now zombies don't come around the edges all around. Oh no, Silver got a permanent crack in her spine from the mech fight. Luckily, you can make a bionic spine. Well, the base is so good now. We have all the defenses. We got Rim Atomics coming in soon. So we will nuclear bomb the world. Yeah, everything else is looking good. The zombie apocalypse cannot stop us. New lovers again. Liquid Lion and Larky. Growth moment for Ghost Matter. Well then, Fast Learner and then these passions. Okay, so I got the Rim Atomics research table. So I think energy weapons is where it's at. Siege from group of Irakin. So they will go here. Yeah, we have to deal with that. Ah, perfect shot. Now they will have to break in or they will go attack these zombies. I will just open up this garage door and they should come here. Oh my, the RPGs. Yeah, they're all fleeing. And our wealth is at, yeah, 400,000 soon. We are literally so immensely rich. I don't think I've had this much territory in a single playthrough. Another toxic fallout from Randy. Yeah, this is hmm, not too bad as the last time since we have enough food stockpiled, but still. Okay, so I've done everything here for energy weapons. We got the sacks down, the tacks, the PPC. And now for Rim Atomics, we will get a, where is it? A Liberator here. 6,000 silver, that's almost all of it. It requires plutonium that has been reprocessed from spent nuclear fuel. Uh, so we'll have to get a new nuclear reactor as well. Like imagine there's a siege coming in and we just drop a nuclear bomb on them. Another mech cluster with a sump blocker. I mean a very beautiful map here once again. Just take this out. 
Ooh, breach raid max. Oh, not this once again, the same angle and everything. But this time we're going for the terrorist build. So 10 people with RPGs. Oh no, where are they going? Oh my goodness, this will destroy the centipedes. Oh, the centipedes don't stand a chance. Oh my goodness, this is so good. They're all dead. Yup, just erase them from reality. Well then, patch up the base. Nothing can stop the RPG squad. Another tanker zombie now. Let's see how OP these RPGs are. I remember when it took days to kill one of these things. And now we do it in seconds. Ooh, transporter crash here. I'll take the tech proof sub persona core. Hopefully they land in our perimeter. Ah, oh, never mind. Well, let's see if the zombies will take care of this. Okay, here is the raid. 33 humans. Demolish them now. Everyone is getting evaporated. If you stand still for a moment, you're just dead. Each one of these RPGs is a doomsday rocket launcher. Yep, they're all fleeing. And there it is, the sub-persona core. So this will instantly research any research. Our first legendary work, a Devil Strand button-down shirt. I'm also going to go into the nuclear research reactor to get a nuclear facility up. We have been depending on these two large chem fuel power plants for power, but nuclear power is better, I think. We casually just have a steam gazer in our base. A nice warm shower if anyone needs it. Okay, the zombies are spawning and behaving normally. So they've ganged up on the walls here. They're pretty angry. We also have two ancient complexes, which I want to check out now. So let's go. So you cannot walk on water with the new Biomes Island update. So yeah, these ancient complexes are now invalid. Well then, that is strange. We'll have to live on. Another mech cluster. This one looks nice and cozy. An outer mortar that will activate in 6.7 days. An infestation. It has been quite some time since we last did one. Unstable power cell. Kill them all. Oh, not the ship. <laughs> it will be fine. And we can just rebuild all of this, but they're all dead. It is time to take care of this mech cluster, so let's head out. Here we go. And the mech cluster has been defeated. Okay, we've done all the research for nuclear research reactor. The nuclear power. I will need to get plutonium. All of this for a nuclear warhead. The nuclear reactor is coming along nicely. It is almost done. 
another mechano cluster minus 10 climate adjuster i am keeping that let's turn this into a temperate forest and nuclear power should be done so with nuclear power done i need to get fuel reprocessing so yeah plutonium and a plutonium processor but firstly a new power source here that will carry us got marine armor as well so this is everything that we've researched i'm just waiting for the last bit of cataphract armor but for now we should just relax load up the nuclear fuel rods so the thing is that I will have to run this for a while before I can get plutonium. So I guess I can get radiation suits and all of this. Okay, we have nine fuel rods. So let's start this up at full power. I need to deplete the rods as fast as possible. So max power is 57,000. And we can turn off all of these large camp fuel power plants. Huge zombie invasion. They have broken through the walls. I mean, they're just getting bombarded. There's nothing they can do. Patch up this base here and we should be good. Ghost Matter became an adult. Well, then the final child. This is what I'm going for him. Oh, I cannot believe it. We used to have all of these people as kids. And we have successfully raised them. Well, except for... Who was it? I think it was Sacred that died. Yeah, she died right here. Also got an exotic goods trader here. So I can get all the silver for plutonium reprocessing. So with this done, I believe we can buy, yeah, fuel reprocessing. And then we can get our nuclear warheads up a random slate meteorite in our compound hey we will keep that as an artifact just let it sit there so we now have a full nuclear power plant full of fuel so 21 fuel rods and we're getting 147 kilowatts uh these suicide bomber zombies keep opening up the walls so we have to clear all of this out although the zombies will die any moment now it's a two percent okay just let them be they will die not my helicopter oh my more zombie serums how many do we have we have 22 of the 10 percent chance one and we only have one guaranteed cure zombies are all dead so i will take care of the turrets here i think all the mechs died Okay, the climate adjuster is nice, minus 10, but we will have to get rid of it. Okay, with the mech cluster defeated, we can go back. Oh no, the zombies are starting to break in again. More dangerous situations. Yes, equip the minigun. Wonderful, let them all in. Random zombie behind us. Hey, we have to tank this one. Uh, we did. Oh no, Andreas, how did he double block? Okay, that should be about all of them. 42 free zombie extract out of that. Luckily, we have such good armor and implants that we aren't getting bit. They simply cannot penetrate machine. Well, the colony is flourishing. We have some zombies here, but they cannot do much. We are soon done with fuel reprocessing. Just need to research a bit more. But yeah, then we can get our nuclear nukes to nuke the map. So now I need a plutonium processor, a machine that uses chemicals to separate fissionable plutonium from spent nuclear fuel, and a plutonium processor. Silver as Kagura for some space. Silver and Kagura are no longer in a relationship. Okay, Silver, time to launch you into space. We will uh, have you get some space soon enough when we launch the ship. Raid from the mech hive, bunch of ciphers that will die. Finally got fuel reprocessing. But let's try some of this. We can have 12 nuclear fuel rods in here and we have 21 in the reactor. Okay, cool back up. Let's see this radiation. What is that? PU1? Is that plutonium? Ah, it doesn't work. I have to spend all of it, which means I have to wait like 70 days or something. So apparently Rheumatomics have their own trade ship. So 1,000 silver. They might have plutonium. It will take two days to arrive. Ah, that's a problem with all the zombies. Ah, here we go. The Rheumatomics trade I thought they would show up as a caravan, but they're here as a trade ship. 
Maybe we can get some plutonium now without having to wait. Here we go. 48 plutonium is 3,800 silver. I should have been prepared for this. I guess I can just sell off some resources like uranium and plasteel. Here we go. This is what I'm trading. We'll have to mine up some more plasteel and uranium, but we need this. Oh my goodness. Also got an exotic goods trader here with the last piece of cataphract armor. Um, Yeah, we don't have enough money for this, so we will have to sell off most everything that we own this is what i decided to trade them selling off some gold and insect jelly mainly for the silver we will have cool baka apply the tech print research that and since we have a tech proof sub persona core we can instantly research this so here we go and now we can start crafting it. Okay, so step completed. Create plutonium. We didn't have to create it. We just bought it. So continue with this liberator research. Time to construct a liberator. 650 steel, 15 components, and 2 advanced components. Let's see here. Make nuclear warhead. 120 plutonium. Uh, so 40 that we bought was like 3,000. And the liberator has been constructed. While there are a lot of things you can use here for the bombs but we just need more plutonium there is a 15 day cooldown between the trade ships so it will take quite some time to get our first nuclear warhead well we've had all of these stocks for a while now but they do reduce our performance so they will all have to die they have provided us with a lot of meat and eggs though well everybody almost has cataphract helmets on speaking of which we have a legendary cataphract helmet there is no zombie in the world biting through that Raid from Idakin. 128 humans. This is the largest raid yet. Imagine just dropping a nuke on them right here. But the zombies will kill all of them. A complete war zone. What? And an infestation. Okay, at the same time, we have a minigun here. Let's see. All hell on board. Insects are all dead, and the Edakin are all fleeing. What the hell happened here? The zombies are feasting upon all of them. So many zombies here, but in half a day they will all die. Oh no, tanker zombie. This one will be huge. These tanker zombies are acting very strangely. Instead of going for my walls, they're just walking around. And the zombies are all dying. Well then, time to loot the outside world. We'd like to get all of this loot here. Lots of zombie serums. Ooh, 44. Ah, oh, this is so funny. They're wearing a balaclava over their cataphract helmet when it's supposed to be under. So everybody looks pretty damn weird all of these raids what is this a hundred militors a hundred and ninety five militors to die As always, have to clean up after these zombies. Yeah, all the tanker zombies have to die, even if it means breaking up the walls. So we have three 100% zombie serum cures and 27 10% cures. So we should be set for any infections. We've also summoned the Rheumatomics trader again, and this time they have 99 plutonium. But as you can see, minus 8,000 silver. Oh, well, this should be enough for the warhead. Nuclear warhead. We have enough for it. New Xeno German ghost matter than great crafting elongated fingers and fire spew but also a few negative genes the nuclear warhead is being produced now initially i wanted to take out factions with this thing but that might take too much time since there's a lot of factions it takes a long time to just get one of these we will find a better use for you the nuclear warhead there is a feature here called contamination in rimworld zombie land so this is a hazard to our colony here and it it is looking quite bad in the base here, especially the meteorites and the outside sources. I believe we will get sick from it, so yeah. 
And there it is, a nuclear warhead. This thing is worth 14,000 silver and weighs 50 kilos. So if we wanted to, we could arm this to bomb up in 2 minutes or 30 seconds. But we will just insert that into the steel liberator. Finally, some action. So with that nuclear warhead, we have one missile, so you can have a total of five nuclear warheads. Well then, let's prepare. Maybe we can get one more nuclear warhead. Another mech cluster, another defoliator here, which will die. While wow, most of our people have cataphract armor now, so we should be fine. And another raid from Neanderthals. Okay, this time just a smaller group that will die. This time, no demolishing with the RPG. Keep it nice and civil. Neanderthals are getting shredded. Nobody stands a single chance. Zombie versus human with cataphract armor. Ben will never get bit. And a defoliator ship now. Okay, we will just have to mortar these things up. Oh no, what are the zombies doing? Don't tell me they will activate the mechs. Okay, mechs have woken up. Time to take them all out. Oh no, all of these. Get the hell back in. That was a close one. This is your small edge. Yeah, there's only a few of them left. We can take this out. The foliator is out. We can just take the tank for this one. And the mech cluster has been defeated. Another mech cluster in the middle of our base. Oh, Jesus. This is hell. And now we have to take care of it. Oh, not the ship, please. Well, that's a first. And now we just have a sun blocker here, casually chilling in our base, but we will take it out. Okay, mech cluster has been defeated. My goodness, that was unexpected. Oh no, a miner zombie mining through. Ooh, a quest here for 38 man-hunting elephants. And one of the rewards is an orbital bombardment targeter. We will 100% accept this. And that is some free rewards. Okay, Silver, this will be an emergency item. Our people are so decked out now. Oh, we have a tanker zombie here filled with zombies behind them. Yeah, the RPG might just be better. Okay, they're all dead. I mean, we can manage all of them now. So our people are decked out in gear now. Frumbo fur shirts, all at masterwork, cataphract masterwork armor. So everybody will not be bit. It's literally impossible for their teeth to penetrate us. Oh no, contamination. So at 100% we will die from it. As I said, we need to try to avoid this contamination. Raid from pigs. They will die. We have finally ran the nuclear power plant for long enough. So now we have one fuel rod here that is radioactive, but it will process us some plutonium. So let's see, you're loading this up here, and we're going to get plutonium in uh, 14, 15 days. 
another infestation. This one is smaller than before. And uh, yeah, they're all dead. There's nothing stopping the death squad. And a raid from the mech hive breachers. Ah, uh, they will die to all these zombies. The raid was absolutely demolished by the zombies. Got some more plutonium ready to be processed. The one with the green tags on them. So all of these. Ah, uh, we're getting a bunch of radiation sickness. Not good. Another breacher raid from Neanderthals. <laughs> that is the wrong entrance. They will all die. Um, what the hell is going on here? They're just letting them go. They're not attacking each other. Ah, huh, very, very interesting. Mow them down. The zombies and the Neanderthals are working together. Yep, they're all fleeing. Okay, the military trader is here, but this time they only have 46 plutonium. I need 120 for a warhead. Oh, wait, you can buy nuclear warheads here. 95,000 silver for all five. I mean, you know what? If I were to buy one and sell off all of these resources here, I could get it. I mean, why not? Let's do it. Uh, so we have two nuclear warheads now. I'm going to have to mine out those resources again. Okay, I would like to test out one of these missiles. So if there's like a mech cluster or a huge siege, then we will bombard them. I currently have no more gold, so I will accept this quest here of 20 hives for 190 gold. Once you start getting cataphract armor, you can just ignore kiting. The armor will protect you from everything. And all the gold that we need, finally. I also have a bulk goods trader here, so just getting rid of some items to free up space. Rare thrombos for free fur. Always love to see it. So in 14 days, we will start up the ship. We are done with the defenses and everybody is decked out in masterwork cataphract armor. We also have some nukes to help us in the defense. So yeah, just the last bit of preparations. Monkeys versus zombies. They're mauling each other. Ah, poor monkeys. You will be safe. Well then, the next room atomics military trader getting some more plutonium. So with this, we should be able to make, yeah, one more nuclear warhead. So we will have three and we should be able to get one again in 15 days. So that is wonderful. Oh, our plutonium processor has gotten us some plutonium, but we also have some nuclear waste. So initially I wanted to wipe out this world of factions, but our liberator can only launch nukes to this pirate faction here. So yeah, I will have to use it on our map or something. But just to test it out, we will bomb these wasters here. They are unluckily just within range. And there it goes. <laughs> Launching newt. Okay, this thing will fly and demolish it. There we go. Base destroyed. And there's a bunch of nuclear fallout that will spread. Well, I wish I could see that explosion, but I think it's enough. We still have two more nukes. Oh my goodness, another surplus trader arrived and they have given us some free Zeus hammers. The zombies will die soon so we can collect all the loot. Raid from imps. Okay, 70 breachers. I don't feel like nuking these things. Oh my, so much fire. I think I should waste the nuke on a siege or something. A mech cluster. Ben is immortal from the zombies. This is what happens when you have all the armor. Oh no. They're getting through... Ben 10, help. Oh, we got a zombie bite. They are jumping over our garage door. Oh, there are just so many. We're being overwhelmed. Oh. 
Okay, they're all dead. Let's see here. So only liquid lion got bit. Also got some contamination. We have three 100% zombie serums, so this should be fine. Okay, so liquid lion has a zombie bite infection, so we need to cure this straight away. Let's try to cure zombie infection here. We have to do both his right foot and right little toe. Let's see here. Will this be cured then? Okay, we cured one of them, but we used up our 100% zombie serum. Oh, well, we need liquid lion alive. Iceman with the other one. The zombie virus has been cured. So it is day 485. So it is simply time to start up the ship here. Yep, the process will take about 15 days and we will get a lot of raids. So yeah, let's start it up. Finally. And we will make the zombies even harder. So instead of destroying only doors, the regular zombies, they will destroy everything that was built. This will increase the difficulty of the game substantially. So let's go. All hell is on board now. I'm going to go for ace 52 loadout but if things get too wild we will take the rpg squad they're not actually destroying the walls because i forgot to untick this only when they are agitated so now all the zombies will start destroying the walls let's see yep they are starting to punch away it's a glorious sight to see they're all banging on our walls i guess i'm going to have to double layer the walls even further a siege from wasters i have a plan for this we will take this new here set it to low yield and we will launch this thing on top of them all hell on board i would like to see this oh <laughs> oh no our walls but they just got evaporated um yeah we just absolutely disintegrated that raid yeah we should not do that we should use mortars but i needed to see it so most raids will be quite easy because the zombies will take care of them almost all the raids that are outside of the base but every drop pod raid we will have to deal with they are slowly destroying the walls but we should be able to outbuild them the power of plastic walls is too powerful they cannot bite through it i thought this would be worse but as you can see we are rebuilding after all the layers they destroy raid from groups of imps okay no drop pods so oh they might be able to kill all of these zombies though okay the imps are going to flee okay only two raids so far and the zombies still cannot puncture through we simply have too much plasteel which has the highest hp wall in the game 840 hp Okay, pigs. They spawned outside of the wall, so you already know that they're dead. All the pigs are fleeing. Raid from the mech hive. Again, spawning outside into the chaos. They spawned right into the pigs. Oh, they have an apocrydon, but it doesn't matter. The zombies will kill them all. So on one hand, it's quite hard to fight against the zombie apocalypse. But on the other hand, they take care of every other threat. So as long as you can have a good wall around your base, you should be fine for the most part. Another raid from pigs to be slaughtered. A too deep infestation and another raid from pigs. Breach raid again, except on the east side. Hmm, this time the pigs might get through. They are through, but they are also getting destroyed by the zombies. Let's see the M134 minigun against these. Yeah, they're all fleeing. So far, they've destroyed the walls significantly. We have to close ourselves in. Another breach rate from mechs to die. Oh, the mechs are getting through. All hell on board. Okay, they're all dead. Chunks of spacecraft in the middle of the base. Oh no, more mechs getting through down here. Oh, they're all dead. Well then, patch this up real quick. 
we're halfway done with the spaceship here in 6.8 days. I'm not sure if you can see the outline here, but we have, yeah, built ourselves in even further. But we still have a lot of steel and plasteel, so they cannot penetrate. Another raid from the mech hive. This time, is this a breacher? No, they're not breaching, so they should die to the zombies. Although this looks very tough. I know what, get the RPG and kill them all. Oh, we got an orbital bombardment targeter from earlier, so we can use this. Yeah, this is war. Everything dies to our ra. All the Diabolises just get insta-killed. And yeah, they're all vaporized. Another raid from Wasters, more Breachers. This time the zombie level will die off, so we need to take care of this. Everybody kill them! <laughs> They're already fleeing. I mean, the RPG squad is so OP. Ooh, a siege from wasters. Well, we nuked the last one from them, but this time we can mortar them. Or it looks like they will just get mauled by the zomboids. Okay, wasters are fleeing. They didn't even have a chance. Another raid from mechs. Yep, more apocritans to die. Another raid from, what is this, Edakin on top of the max. Mm, but still again outside of the walls, so they're all dead. What an absolute graveyard of thrombos, max, Edakin, and zombies. These zombies here are starting to break through, so patch up. The zombie level has reached zero once again, and one group of Edakin are still alive. Let's kill them. And now they are all dead. But this ship is almost up in 2.7 days. Neander Falls, breach raid to die. That's not going to go so well. One more breach raid from Mex. No drop pod raids yet. And even more Neander Falls to die. Hmm, the Neander Falls will get through, I think. Okay, the reactor is ready, but we still have another 24 hours before it's day 500, so let's just wait. But this means that all the raids should be done. Ah, uh, the whole base is getting demolished though. We can't keep repairing, but we're going to close ourselves in. So we have to get out of here, out of this hellhole. Okay, a final raid from the mech hive. Ah, uh, they will also die. So it has been 500 days in Windworld. We have survived through hell and back to try to keep these zomboids out. They are mauling some mechs here. They've broken into the nuclear reactor, but it's to no avail. We have three ship crypto sleeve caskets here. I couldn't afford more because, well, you need advanced components to make more. And to make more advanced components, you need gold, which we, well, also don't have. So I've chosen silver and Kagraf, the originators, and their firstborn child, Kulbaka, so they will enter. And other than that, these people will have to be left behind, unfortunately. But we have done it, so let's just launch. So... You've launched a ship and these colonists escaped. So Silver, Kulbak, and Kagoref. And then the people behind were Mepic, Andreas, Benten, Liquid Lion, Malarkey, Ghost Matter, and Iceman. Your machine persona will try to guide the ship to a safe place. It might find a prosperous planet in the system, or it may undertake a centuries-long journey to another star. But yeah, in memory of Sacred, I remember her dying. But that was quite the playthrough. There's no way... I can leave behind this place as it is. We might as well end it because these people are stuck here. I don't want you all to suffer. Ben 10, I want you to man the sacks. And we're going to launch a high yield tactical nuke on our map. 
It's time to wipe out this place once and for all. Yup, the nuke here. And it will disintegrate this map as we know it. Goodbye. And just like that, we have demolished the map. No more zombies. Nobody can win the zombie apocalypse. But anyways, thanks to my Patreon members. And if you're bored, then watch this video next.